Team I Love Me, 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 welcome back. It is now day 21. Day 21. Welcome back. Stay tuned for the question of the day. <laughs> All right, team. So welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So again, day 21 of Vlogmas, December 2017. The question of the day is how do I create an even more solid relationship with my spouse? Now, of course, I have some tips for you guys and I have 15 today. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing is to continue to make sure you are making your mate a priority continue to keep them on the top of your busy list or at least at the very top um, or at least at the you know one two but at the very top keep them at the very top of your list and you'll make sure that they are a priority in your relationship a priority to you and of course in your relationship number two make sure that you are spending as much quality time as you can with your spouse. And just because you guys are in the same household does not mean that you are spending quality time with each other. You want to put away the electronics, maybe sit there and have dinner together where you actually can look each other face to face or eye to eye and have an actual conversation with them about, of course, you're going to talk about their day, right? But talk, some, talk about some things that are deeper, like what are their dreams? Where are, what are their goals? Where are they at with reaching said goals? Where are they at with reaching just period? Go a little bit deeper so you can still continue to understand your spouse. And we are forever changing. Our mind is forever evolving and everything. And so you just want to make sure where your partner is and make sure that you guys are still on the same page. Keep that quality time with each other. Block out the world. Make it about you too. And even with the children, you know, you're going to spend some time with the children, but once the children go to bed or you might have to make a date night, send them away so you two can still connect with one another, having that quality time with one another. The third thing goes along with spending the quality time. This is, I mentioned it a little bit, but this is now the time to focus on listening. Listening and taking in what their dreams and hopes for, for you guys and for the future look like where they're at and reaching those things and just taking it all in so you can 100% um, give them your undivided attention right there, right now, so they feel special, they feel heard. And also, let me just throw in and say that if you and your spouse are making the relationship about each other, then there is very little room for you to feel like you are um, unhappy in the relationship. And what I mean by that is if you as the woman are looking out for your boo and your boo is looking out for you, why you guys are both in the relationship, how can there be a lot of unhappiness going on? I'm making sure that you're happy. You're making sure that I'm happy. So how is there a disconnect or how is it that I can say that I am unhappy, that I am unfulfilled in my relationship? Because relationships really are a selfless act, not selfish, a selfless act. You are thinking about them just like we do with our children. We are selfless with our children, especially when they're younger and they need more time and attention. We lose sleep, literally lose sleep for our kids. Sometimes you got to lose sleep for your spouse in order to keep the relationship and make it even more solid. Make them feel like they are a priority. Make them feel like you still care for them the way that you once did before. If you are lacking on any of these things, bruh, sis it is now time it's time now like don't wait till tomorrow it's time now to start reactivating these things in your relationship to continue to keep it built up solid keep your foundation strong keep it so nobody can come in and, and tell you some ridiculousness about your spouse because you already know where your spouse is Number four, every once in a while, you could figure out your own schedule, but every once in a while, you want to talk to your mate specifically and check in with the relationship. Check in and specifically ask them, how can I love you better? What, what else can I do to love you better? 
to make you feel important, to make you feel special in our relationship. And of course, your spouse is going to be looking at you a little like, what, what? Because you're going to take them off guard because most people don't do this. Most people don't even understand how important it is to check in with their mate about how you can love them better. Check in. Monthly. You know, you can do it once a month. But whatever your schedule is going to be, and especially I, I did a video on um, trust a few days ago or maybe a week ago or whatever. Check out that video. But also right here, this is a way, especially if the trust has been violated in your relationship, this is a way to start checking in on the relationship to see what to make it better. That way, the trust has that amount of space to be broken. Because literally, once the trust is broken, the entire relationship is, is in danger. It can recover, but it's definitely in danger. It's in danger. Number five is something that I am putting on my to-do list, which is to take a walk, basically. So you're getting out into the fresh air, into the sunshine, maybe even if it's, you know, if it's snowing where you're at. It doesn't have to take long. But the point is to get out in the fresh air where you're away from all of the um, elements of indoors. You can think a little bit clearly and you're going to be taking a gratitude walk and what this is when it pertains to relationships is to take a walk and each of you take turns telling your partner what it is that you are grateful about with with being with them and just your relationship in general you can take 10 10 15 minutes out of your day um, again once or twice a month to do this you could do it along with your check-in you could just double hit it double hit it instead of uh you know uh only doing one of the two you can go out there and say you know what what can i do how can i love you better that's the first thing right and then the second thing is you know what while we're walking back to the house let's talk about what i am grateful for with you so you can do this all at one time again check in check in with your relationship see what you can do to do to make it better see what you can do to make it that much more solid Keep the foundation going, understanding where your partner is at currently, where they would like to be. What would they like to work on? What do you want them to work on? What do you need out of the relationship? And then you can also, like I said, understand what they need out of the relationship. It's a two way street. Again, it's a selfless thing to be in a relationship. It's not all about you. And once it starts to be all about you, all about you is when it starts to crumble. Number six, tell them when you are appreciative of something that they have done for you or something that you noticed that they've done that you did not have to ask. Like taking out the trash, putting the um, toilet seat down, putting the cap back on the toothpaste, taking all of the hair out of the sink when they shave. Whatever it is. You know, the light bulb went out. Fix the light bulb. Your computer was acting up. Fix the computer. The car was acting up. Fix the car. All of the things that we take for granted that we just like, oh, well, they supposed to do it. They really ain't supposed to do nothing. We put these things on our partner that they supposed to do this. They supposed to do that. No, they ain't supposed to do nothing. Not for you. We all grown. We all can do what we want for ourselves. So make sure that you're showing your partner how appreciative of you be of them being there with you and, and the things that they do for you because we don't have to do these things for our partner. We don't have to. It's good, but we don't have to do it. It's not something that's written in a rule book to say, well, you got to do this once you're in a relationship. That's not the way it works. All of us like to be appreciate, appreciated, you know? We all want to be praised. And it doesn't have to be every day or anything. You want it to be authentic. You don't want to do this every single time they do something, right? Because then it comes off as being fake. Like, I mean, okay. Or the person takes it now for granted. But every once in a while, throw it out there. You're letting them know, I see you. I see you. Thank you. I see you. You're doing nothing but adding to their confidence bucket. And once you add to their confidence bucket, guess what? The person is going to want to do it even more for you 
Because now, like I mentioned yesterday, now they know your blueprint. They know how to win with you. They know how to make you smile. They know how to make you laugh. They know how to make you happy. It's the little things, y'all. It's the little things that make the relationship. It's not the big things. Number seven, y'all know I'm a big jokester, so I got to throw this in here that make sure you and your spouse are having inside jokes. Like y'all out and about somewhere, but y'all two could look at each other and start laughing, or y'all two could like make the eye about whatever it is, and y'all know what it's about. Or you could say something to your partner in a particular phrase or a particular statement, and it's only something that you two understand. Keep those inside jokes. That's y'all blocking out the world. Y'all blocking out the world. It's just y'all two against the world. Keep all that riffraff outside. Yeah, keep all that riffraff out. Number eight, make sure that you are showing them that you have their back. Whatever it is, even if you don't believe in it, you got their back. Because when it's your turn, you're going to want them to support you. Just remember that. You want to have their back. Because when it's your turn, you are going to want them to have your back. Just think about it. If you guys are making sure that each other is happy, it's going to decrease the chances of wanting to go out there or wanting to have a wondering eye. Number nine, you want to let them know that it is okay if they messed up or if it's something that has been weighing them down because they feel like, oh, I should have, would have, could have. I should have, would have, could have did that. I didn't do it. Let them know it's okay. Another opportunity is going to come up. And when that opportunity comes up, you jump on it. Because you're smart. You're intelligent. You got this. That's what you say. You got this. Don't even worry about that. The next opportunity that's going to come up, guess what you're going to do? You're going to kill it. Like that's how you feed into your partner. That's how you make sure that the relationship continues to stay solid. It's going to continue to stay solid if you're feeding into your partner and your partner is continuously feeding into you. Literally, it's going to be y'all against the world because nothing is going to be able to come through and tear y'all apart. Nothing. Nothing. And both of y'all are going to want to see each other win. You're going to be genuinely happy when your partner is winning because not only is your partner winning, you winning with your partner. Not only are you winning, your partner is winning with you. Y'all winning with and for each other. Number 10, every once in a while, let your partner know that you have been thinking about them that day. Let them know that you've been thinking about them. It's okay. It only feeds into their confidence. And they absolutely going to know what. Like, that's going to be the follow-up question. What was you thinking? Because we all, we all want to know what was you thinking. You can either tell them or you can just be cutesy and say, well, I don't want to tell you today. Just know that I was thinking about you. Depends. How you want to handle that situation is completely up to you. Number 11, when you are greeting your partner, give them a really long, tight hug. Like it's something about the power of touch. Like we really all need the power of touch. Did, did you know that infants could actually could literally die if they don't get the held and the warmth and comfort of another person? Did you know that? I think that that is just awesome, really, and mind-blowing at the same time. We all need the power of touch. We do. So as I was saying, make sure that you give your partner a very long, much-needed hug. One where they're kind of trying to pull away like, what's going on? Hold them. <laughs> Hold them a little while longer and give them that hug. And just let them know how happy you are to see them, to be there with them in that moment right there. Yeah, give them that hug. Something about the power of touch, y'all. Even when a person is angry and mad and they all tensed up, you hold them long enough, they'll relax. They will relax. No words. I'm not even talking about how you got to hug them and have words. You just hugging them. And you letting them know that you're there, right there in that moment with them and for them. Just hold them a little while longer. They'll start to relax. That stress, it'll start to melt away. Is it going to be completely gone? No. 
but they'll be even more relaxed. Trust me. Trust me on this one. Try it out. Let me know if you try it out. Let me know if you have tried it out. What actually happened? Let me know in the comment section below. Number 12 goes into number 11, which is to give them a super sexy kiss. You know the type of kiss that turn your partner on. <laughs> That's the kiss you want to bring back to the party. You ain't did it in a while, right? That's the kiss. That's the kiss you want to bring back to the party. <laughs> Number 13. Make sure that you guys are keeping things fun in your relationship. Whatever fun is to you. Fun might be watching movies. Fun might be drinking wine together. Fun might be going out together. Fun might be sitting home playing games together. Whatever your fun is. Yeah, because we all, we all drop off the bandwagon for a while. Bring the fun back into your relationship. Now, this one you absolutely can include the children. It might be running around, you know, playing Frisbee or going to the park and running around with the pets or whatever it is. A, a fun outing with the family. Just bring the fun back into your relationship. Do something kind of naughty, right? <laughs> like I mentioned in one of the videos before. Go run through the fountain. Yeah, that fountain that you ain't supposed to be running through. Run through that fountain. Go go in the store and one of y'all get in the cart, right? And they adults, right? Y'all hear me? Adults, right? Go one of y'all adults get in the cart, which more than likely is going to be the woman, right? Because the men are just heavier. Moving on. Get in that cart and the man start running through the store with y'all and y'all just acting the fool. Just have fun. Some clean fun. Some nice clean fun. Yeah, people going to be looking at y'all like, what the hey? But they also going to be thinking, dang, I, I, I miss those days. I want to do that. You know what I mean? Be a leader, not a follower. Moving on. Number 14, to keep your relationship solid, right? Speak up whenever it's something that you don't like about what your partner did. Speak up. Let them know. Don't hold that in. Don't hold that in. And then when you have mountains and mountains and mountains and mountains of stuff built up, then you blow erupting. You're blowing up and erupting like a dang old volcano. Because your partner going to be looking like, where did all of this come from? And they're going to be literally scratching their head like, what the what <laughs> just happened? Or they might not even handle it that, that cool. They might blow up and erupt back at you. Don't wait till the stuff piles up. Nip it in the bud right away. That way your relationship still stays fun. I can tell you how I'm feeling. You can receive how I'm feeling. It's not that big of a deal. Right? But get it out there. Don't just hold it in. Don't just keep it bottled up. And especially for those new relationships out there. I know this, this particular video is for the established relationships, but for the new relationships, we have a tendency to hold things in because we don't want the uh, boat to be rocked on our new relationship. Are they going to stay? How mad are they going to get? I don't want to show this side of me. Get those things out there. They need to see that side of you. That way they have a better chance to make a better choice if you are a good fit for them and if they are a good fit for you. Put those things out there. Speak up about the things that bother you. Speak up about them. Don't let them fester. Number 15, make sure that you guys are continuously asking a multitude of questions. Both of you. Ask a multitude of questions so you can understand your partner that much more. You can understand exactly where they're at. You can understand exactly why they did something that they did, whether you liked it or you didn't like it. You can, They can actually find out some information. Maybe it's something that they want to give you as a gift, something that you have talked about, right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere, it doesn't have to be a special occasion. All of a sudden, you're getting this gift. It's all because you guys are literally communicating with each other you're opening up and you're sharing your thoughts and ideas with one another and all of that comes through you asking a multitude of questions 
So family, I hope that you have enjoyed this video today where I hopefully have answered this question in depth about how to create an even more solid relationship with your spouse. If you have enjoyed it, of course, give me thumbs up. And now if this is your very first time here to I Love Me Me Me, you make sure that you hit that red subscribe button or the icon with my lovely face because here at I Love Me Me Me, I am supplying you guys with the tips and tools in order to have a happy, healthy, romantic relationship. Now, also let me just finally mention that the playlist is in the description box below as well as all of the places where you can follow me on social media because I asked what questions you guys wanted me to answer for this entire month of December and that is where I ask the question so if you too want to be a part of something like this in the near future I will definitely be doing this again in the near future so go ahead and follow me on social media so I can answer your question as well I will see you guys tomorrow Mwah.